Hi guys, Sanity Pianos here, um, and I've got with me today the brand new Yamaha PSR SX900. Now, this is my first time playing this keyboard, it's very, very exciting. Um, this is kind of going to be a hands-on first impressions video, um, just straight out of the box. Uh, if you want to go and check out our unboxing video, Isaac's done a very nice uh, unboxing there of the whole product and just shows you what you get um, in the box. And yeah, this is going to be my first impressions, uh, just running through the keyboard. I'm going to jump right in and just give you some sounds. Um, so straight in the piano section, this is just the Yamaha Concert Grand, which is absolutely lovely. <laughs> So there's a really lovely, rich uh, concert grand sound there, which is very, very nice. Okay. Lovely. So let's jump into some of these amazing electric piano sounds. So right off the bat, we've got Suitcase Hard. That's kind of their uh, Yamaha's model of, of like a Rhodes, like a Mark One, Mark Two Rhodes sound. So this sounds a little bit like this. <laughs> Very nice. Cool. I love that sound. All right. So piano and strings. Uh, adjust those levels a little bit.
So the next piano sound I'm going to show you guys is called Chill Out Upright. So this is a really lovely, um, very versatile, dynamic upright piano sound with quite a bit of delay and a bit of reverb on it. And that sounds like this. <laughs> That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, huge, huge sound um, and some gorgeous effects on there as well. So the reverb and the delay really adds to that spacey chill out sound, as the name would suggest. So that's very, very cool. Uh, big fan of that. Just going through these pianos, I mean, there's so much in here. There is so, so much to choose from. Um, you could spend hours just on the pianos alone, to be honest. Um, 80s sounds. <laughs> Beautiful, lovely. Um, okay, getting on to some of the quiet and pad sounds. These are absolutely gorgeous. So you've got all manner of choir and pad voicings together here. Um, So just to showcase some of the effects on board on the SX900, um, this is just a basic suitcase piano with a lovely bit of tremolo on it to get that really cool kind of soul bluesy feel. Um,
by the sounds of it, I think I actually had just layered that up with an acoustic piano underneath it. So bear with me. Let me just take that off. Um, so we've just got the one piano going. So jumping back into some more of the electric piano sounds, this is a uh, this is based on I guess a DX7, uh, very very famous kind of world renowned Yamaha electric piano from the 80s. Um, so this is called DX Ballad, and I think it sounds lovely. <laughs> two sounds as well.
All right, so I've got two sounds layered up here, which you wouldn't necessarily normally see together, um, but I think it's a really, really lovely sound. Nonetheless, it's a vintage uh, EP, which is Yamaha's take on kind of a classic Wurlitzer electric piano from the 60s and 70s, very, very nice. And then we've got the VP soft pad, which is just basically an ensemble, like a string ensemble, synth string ensemble, um, which is slightly detuned, which sounds really, really nice. And Oh, that is beautiful. Um, all right. So concert grand, and in right two, I'm going to put a. Let's go for another nice pad sound. So the nice thing is with this, unlike I think a lot of other arrangements, like workstations, especially from that are far more kind of complicated and, and hard to get your head around the. Navigation is really easy, but also the hands-on is really, really nice. You can just get straight in and start adjusting sounds, which I really, really like. Now, there you go. Right, cool. So I've just found this. This is really, really nice. Um, if you're a big fan of 80s pad sounds like me, I've got a Concert Grand uh, running in the right three, which is at pretty much max volume. Well, it is at max volume, as you can see. And then on right two, I've got an 80s warm VCF pad, um, which is just a really, really subtle, you can just barely hear it in the background, but it really adds this beautiful spacey effect. Which is absolutely beautiful. I think as far as um, as far as pad sounds go and gorgeous ambient tones, that's really really lovely. Um, so yeah, let's play around with that for a bit. That's cool.
Ah, oh, amazing. <laughs> I really, really love that. That's beautiful. Um, all right. <clears throat> all right, so looking at this sound, I've got a ambient piano, which again, is just a piano with a little bit of reverb, a little bit of delay, not as much as the chill out piano. Um, that same 80s warm uh, VCF pad, and I've added a third layer here which is a vintage uh, muted bass, which is ever so subtle, um, but it really just adds a different kind of depth, and you can, re you can just pick up that bass, especially when I get into the lower register of the keyboard, um, and it sounds fantastic. Let's give that a little go. Lovely, 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 lovely. Big fan of that sound. Uh, love pads, love bass, ambient piano, that's gorgeous. Um, there's a little bit of compression on the piano as well, um, which just ties everything together. So as you can see, it's really, really intuitive to change the amount on each part there. It's literally just one slider. You can pan it left and right, which is really cool. Um, I haven't messed around with that much yet, but I'm sure in a gig situation, or certainly in a recording situation, that would be very, very useful. So, change the name there, so that's very, yeah, that's very, very handy. I'm sure in a, yeah, in a, from a gigging perspective, especially myself, that's very, very handy if you're going through a front of house, if you're running into a PA, um, and you want more or less of something in one side, um, that's very useful. Oh, that was amazing. Whatever that was, that was incredible. <laughs> so that is Soft Ensemble, which is a choir and pad, by the looks of things. Very, very nice. And then that's, that's all four parts utilised there. So we've got the Soft Ensemble, which is a choir and pad, vintage picked bass. That's lovely. That's a huge, huge sound. The 80s pad, massive sucker for 80s pads. Um, and then the ambient piano again. That's really, really nice. So. Yeah, so, so much. Um, just from first impressions perspective, this is, <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. Um, I would take this out and gig with it, any show, to be honest, um, no matter what the size of the stage, um, as far as effects and sounds go, you know you're set, you know that the effects in there are 
fantastic. Um, you wouldn't have to worry about kind of dodgy old PA reverbs or any of that kind of thing. You would you would be you'd be good to go. Um, and certainly on bigger stages as well, the functionality of the of the SX900 is amazing, especially if you are going out and you're playing. As I said, if you're using things like the the stereo pan, the volume for each part, you can really cater this to any gigging situation really. So I think that's that's very, very impressive. Yeah. Wow, okay, so you can actually ah that's cool. Did not know that. Thank you, Yamaha. You can actually set you can set the octave for each part. Um so example if you wanted to go say the soft one's on to go an octave further down oh it's because i've got a harpsichord on there let's not turn that on let's go back to our nice piano uh, it's on page two i think there we go that's more like it so going back to what i was saying if you've got the ambient piano there that's not kind of selected an octave up or down that's just that's just in the middle of the keyboard where it is when it comes out of the box that's standard the vintage bass there you can turn that up an octave if i wanted to Ooh, let's cancel that so that can go up or down just by using the octave switches there we go that's very very handy especially if you want to mess around with the levels of each part so you're not getting quite, especially with pads, sometimes pads, if you play higher up on the keyboard, they can sound very shrill. That solves that problem straight away. Um, that's fantastic, okay. Coming away from pianos, just standard pianos. Let's go to. Um, I kind of want to get involved with one of those DXs again. They sounded really cool. Ah. Let's 
synth a little bit because that's kind of overpowering the piano. But that's cool. That's cool being able to adjust the levels there. It's very, very hands-on, like I said. So I want the loudest part to be that. Soft pad. Go down to about 30. Maybe bring that up a little bit more. To around 30-ish. 